For many small businesses struggling to stay open, the federal Paycheck Protection Program is offering some relief. But as Dennis Ting learns, for some of these small businesses, if this continues much longer, it's more of just a Band-Aid fix. Several of the businesses I spoke with say they've already applied for and been approved for the Paycheck Protection Program, and they tell me that money can't come soon enough. It's the lunch hour rush at the Cheddar Box Cafe in Middletown. But things have looked a lot different this past month, thanks to the coronavirus pandemic. It cut our business in half, but I am one of the lucky ones that we do carry out on a regular basis. Lucky or not, cutting the dining option of a restaurant has still hurt owner Michelle Bartholomew, who has had to lay off all of the staff serving in the cafe. But now, thanks to some help from the Paycheck Protection Program, Michelle says she can bring some of them back. I'm going to try to have 80% 75 to 80% of my staff back. Do whatever I can to get them back. The Paycheck Protection Program was part of the CARES Act passed by Congress, allocating around $349 billion to help businesses with fewer than 500 employees with payroll. Small businesses need these tools in order to keep the lights on and ideally to retain workers through these hard times. But some worry that money will run out. The U.S. Small Business Administration reported this weekend that banks had already approved more than $182 billion in loans, which is why Greater Louisville Inc.'s Iris Wilbur Glick says Congress may need to do more. So we are closely monitoring what a fourth congressional package uh, could look like uh, to further support, expand, extend the Paycheck Protection Program uh, to other small businesses. If we get shut down into May, or even June, I will totally be relying on um, more funding. Dennis Ting, WHAS 11 News.